don't know about you, but usually when I'm at home getting some stuff done, I think of something that might make my life a little easier. So I pull out my phone, I go on Amazon, look it up, find that item, add to cart, and then within about 24 hours, I have that thing that's making my life a little bit easier. Well, this routine I think is repeated by not just me, but I think a lot of people, and it's trained us into getting instant gratification on stuff. And so this is something that we can look at as and be like, ah, this is terrible. You know, we all everything, everyone wants everything right now. Point is, it's here to stay and it's not going anywhere. And so how are you gonna react to that? And specifically, how is your school gonna react to that? And so I wanna share with you three reasons why a virtual tour for your school is critical in this day and age. All right, the first reason why your school needs a virtual tour is because it's a showcase. You get to tell the story that you want to tell. Enter in a certain way, show different parts of the cafeteria, show different parts of the chapel, show different parts of the classrooms. Maybe focus that you just got a new technology wing. There's so many opportunities that you can tell and craft it and, and take the viewer through. Maybe it's not feasible when they're walking through, you know, they walk in and you want them to see something right away, but if they're actually going through it themselves, you, you know, it's not appropriate to be like, don't look over there, look over here first. Well, you could do that in the virtual tour. You get to tell them, you get to take them through, through whatever season you choose or all the seasons. It's, it's such a unique and powerful way because you're not limited to what time they come in, the time of day, the time of season, the year, whatever. It's, it's you, you pick it and you choose it and you show them just in the perfect light, the perfect angles, new angles. You know, you could throw a drone up there get a big wide shot of the campus so people can see how expansive things are. There's just so much opportunity to give the full picture because I feel like if you went in person, you get a certain perspective, but the virtual tour gives you the full perspective and it's a full showcase of how great your school is. All right, the second reason why your school needs a virtual tour is highlight. You get to highlight what's unique about your school. So whether you have small class sizes, whether you focus on technology, or you have programs for special needs, or you have a diverse population in the school, you get to highlight whatever you want, what makes your school unique. Because families, when they're going through this and watching it, they wanna see how well their child will fit in. And so giving you the opportunity to highlight what's unique about your school gives them the opportunity to say, hmm, yeah, this is, this is what I would want for my family. And you don't necessarily would always get that in a normal physical tour because whether it's guided or unguided, people may pick up on stuff or not and make their own assumptions. But in this, you're, you're telling them and you're focusing on what's important about your school and unique. All right, the third and final reason why your school needs a virtual tour is the welcome. So first impressions last a lifetime. And if you don't have a virtual tour, oftentimes people's first impressions are based on photos they find on Google, the pictures on your website, which may or may not be good photos, but still, it's a one-sided way to look at it. And so, listen, go with me for a second on this. Have you ever seen a celebrity in real life, or even met one? There's a certain awe and starstruck you have, right? Why is that? Well, because you got to experience them in, in, in a movie or a TV, watching them and, and, and you know feeling something. It was, there was a story done, and, and you just feel a certain connection. So when you see them in real life, it's, it's like, you know, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is real. And I'm not saying a virtual tour is gonna make your school a celebrity, but I'm not saying it won't either, okay? <laughs> it's the same principle. It allows them to see this in, in the, the perfect light, right? You get to showcase what you wanna showcase, highlight what's unique about your school. So when they do come to see your school for the first time, they're walking in, not just like, oh, what's this place like? They're walking in going, oh man, I remember that, that piece in the video, there was a really cool statue over there, or I want to see the chapel, or that classroom that had all that technology, I really want to take a look at that. They're coming in with positive expectations. It allows them to, when they actually do come, they feel welcomed or ready, and it's not their first time. They don't feel like they don't know where to go or look or anything. Listen, having a virtual tour has always been important, but now, in this day and age, having that is one of the critical factors to getting more students for your school. Ooh. 
All right, in summary, a virtual tour is not just important because we live in an instant gratification culture and people want things right away, but it's important because you get to showcase all the amazing things that are part of your school. You get to highlight what makes you unique and different from other schools. And third, it welcomes people in to make them feel at home and part of your community before they even step foot in your door. All right, I hope that's helpful. Good luck on your virtual tour. God bless. Ooh.